comfy. Oh. Excuse me while I just find myself and find the chat and stuff. I'll be there in a minute. I am fudged, by the way. Mm. Right. I'm back. Oh, sorry. I'll pick it up in a bit. It's only two things. Did you all go out and clap? We just had a, we just had the clap. <laughs> I'm sure you've all gone and done it. Hey, Karen. Hey, Claire. So I'm just donning the gloves again. It's filthy business, this. Filthy. What are you doing? Is that you? Hmm. I don't know. Right. So as you can see, I've kind of tidied up a bit. I've managed to sort a lot out. I mean, a lot. I've literally got that box over there to divide up, take all the broken bits out of. Here I've got lots already made. Um, there I've got boxes and then bits that haven't yet gone into lots so I've got to put them into kilo lots um, down here I've got my this is the my stuff um, so it's like vintage bit interesting bits that I like um, and like broken vintage and stuff like that I've got a bag of cosmetics um, in here, I've got a bag of hair stuff, random bits and bobs, which will probably be charity shop stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I've got various like kilo bags of necklaces because I know people will ask. So I've got some of them already sorted. I think I've got six bags of them already sorted. Bag of watches, a bag of rings, um, a nice big bag of newer tag stuff, and so far three kilos of broken. Which, considering the amount I've gone through already, that's pretty good going. Yes, exactly. List them, Josh. Um, of the. Things that I've found so far. Do you want to see some cool bits? Mm -hmm. So, this is all things that are worth some decent money, I think. So, I've got a lot for testing. Um, so, bits that I think possibly might be silver or gold that I've put aside. Things that definitely are silver. So, we've got like the earrings that are silver and lapis lazuli. Um, silver necklace, silver earrings, silver bracelets, silver earrings. Silver, lovely like turquoise in there, necklace and earrings, so they're silver. Um, a solo silver earring. These Kenzo earrings, look them up on eBay. Kenzo clip-on earrings, flower, and look at the prices on them. Very nice. Very nice. Um, some more silver, more silver, more silver. This was just, just a Marks and Spencer's necklace, but it looks like the clasp has been replaced. And on the clasp, it says 375. So, um, the left-hand side is blurry. Oh, because it's in my... Right, I'll sort that out in a second, hold on. But that says 375 on the clasp, which is 9 karat gold. So I'm going to take that off and test it separately, and then that will go in my scraps if it is. Um, oops, that wasn't me. And then one of the tiny little earring backs ended up being 14 karat gold. 
and then I've got a pair of nine carat gold earrings. Um, no, this isn't a set supplier. This is literally like a one-off. Right, people were in the right place at the right time. Got offered this. Um, they contacted me saying, like, do you want it? This was yesterday, and I said yes. And now it's here today. Let me just sort this out. Right, how's that? Is that okay? Okay, right, so I've got five bags left to go through, but I am going to finish at five to nine because Charlie Brooker is on BBC Two and I love Charlie Brooker, so we are going to pretty much zoom through this, so I'm going to have this box near me and I need a bag for, that's a bag for rubbish, um, um, oh no, that's already right. No, I won't. Because they're ready for a kilo lots. This lot isn't ready, so I'm going to throw them into here. Okay. So we're going to do this now. Okay, we're going to do this. And already I've lost my scissors. No, there they are. It's fine. So, Charlie Brooker at 9 o'clock, there's no way I'm missing that, even for jewellery. Okay. So, this might be a little bit of speed sorting. Okay, that's nice. I've also got a tray of, like, solo earrings up there, but that's a nice bangle, isn't it? Um, there's Jane out there who likes turquoise bits, so I might sort her out with some stuff. Speaking of turquoise. So we've got some stuff on cards. Oh, this is another thing you always get in lots as well, the little religious bracelets. What about David Anderson? Anderson sounds nicely... Um, Scandinavian, doesn't it? Bijou. Molly Johnson, sunflower of a wild flower cottage. That doesn't sound good. Um, right, so I have done lots of jewellery with things like that in it as well. Uh, some people have already contacted me because, you know, they're all hot to trout. Um, oh, these are some handmade little tiger's eye beaded. That's cute. But a few lots from auction need to... Yeah, exactly. You've got to learn somehow, haven't you? And you can ask questions and stuff, and, you know, that's cool. And there'll be someone out there that knows things. But honestly, the best way to learn is just to have a go yourself. It's a nice mother of pearl in there. Um... Nice clamp of bangle in there. Ooh, that's lovely. Right, Peruvian stroke Aztec stroke Southwestern copper bangle. That's nice. I'm having that one. That's lovely. There's no maker's mark or anything, but that's super cool. I like that. Bijou Turner. That's quite a funky bangle, isn't it? Right, what do I see here? Right, Louis Picard, Quartz Crystal. Wow. Look at that bangle. Oh my God. That is freaking beautiful. I hope that that's the box that it comes in. Like, I hope that this these two belong together, you know, because that is super freaking lovely. I keep that in there. That is so nice. I muchly like that. Um, what have we got here? A bit of silver. You look silver. You'll go on a testy schmesty. Uh, you want to be silver, but you're not. Nice little sparkly bracelet. Cool little red stud earrings. Do you think you'd be testing this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can do a testing video at some point as well. I might even do testing live. 
if you like. I've had a pair like this before that ended up being 9 karat gold. So I might keep them aside just out of interest. And there's the other silver one. I don't think the rest are anything. So they'll go in there. Some funky red things. Someone out there is going to get one of these. More watches. We've got a piglet watch. If there's an eel one, I'll uh, look out for you, Karen. That's a nice little bangle. Some beads. That's lovely turquoise colour. That'll go in my beachy lot. That's the lid to that box. Oh, that's super pretty. So that's a lovely um, dried flower and wood brooch. That's super cute. I'll be put aside, even though it's slightly damaged, but it's still nice. Made especially for you, so handmade little bracelet there. We've got a Bart Simpson earring. <laughs> oh, some more nice turquoisey bits, but that's a little bit um, stretched out. So that'll probably go into a broken lock when I get around to doing it. What's in here? Ah, oh, that's pretty, just little blue glass beads, lots of just random baggies. If they are anything of interest, obviously I will show you. Right, what's in this little box? Oh, are you silver? Yes, you are. Nice. Oh, well, no. The hoops, uh, the hooks say silver, but I'm not sure whether the actual hearts are. But we'll, uh, we'll have a go on them. Oh, we're making cheesecake. Nice. Oh, and they're pretty. So some little art glass uh, earrings. Probably studio made. They're quite nice. And then we've got a little tie pin. Made in the USA. I love that one. And then just some odds and sods earrings. I'll keep them in the box so that they don't lose their pills. That's a nice chunky bangle. That's cool. Ring bracelet. Right, we've got a um, top of a box. K Lindy. I hope we find whatever was in them. Oh, we've got some retro cufflinks. That's cool. You made donut pudding this afternoon. Karin, stop tempting yourself. You're on a diet and you're making all of these things. I know you're saying it's for Darren, but you're not doing yourself any favours. That's quite a cute little bangle in there. Some surfery. Some stainless steel. Oh, some more. Okay, that's definitely silver. Right, we have got in here Silver with possibly like a little amethyst in there. We've got a pair of those. They'll come out. Um, you and not silver. And then there's just some studs. And we've got an earring back. And that possibly might be gold. So we'll test that. And then tiny little earring. Which is adorable. That might be gold. But cutest little drop there. So we'll put that in our little testing pile. They're very cute though. Very Art Deco-ish. I like them. And then the rest I'll come back to another point. They're just beaded things. Don't think they're anything particularly awesome. Another one of this Millie Johnson. I don't know who she is, but she was definitely kind of promoting herself through jewellery for some reason. Ooh, some alpaca Mexico. Right, so some Mexican silver, which isn't really silver. Um, with some crushed turquoise in there. We're hoping that that's got a mate because I like them. Oh my God, I have been so busy today. I literally stopped like 20 minutes for some food and then carried on sorting. <laughs> oh no, we've got a Charles and Diana thimble. Awkward. And we've got some lipstick. I've got to allow like 10 minutes per bag and I don't think it's going to be enough. 
go. We've got a nice brooch come in. Now oh, that's cute. K-R, K-R, K-R. Does anyone know who K-R is? Well, that's nice with the black enamel. Mine. We've got a sponge. <laughs> Your mum will have the thimble, no worries. I will sort that out for you, Cara. But give me a reminder over the weekend because lots of people have messaged me going, oh, can I have that, can I have that? And it's like, yes, you can. I will forget. Okay? <laughs> so just message me again some point over the weekend when all of this has calmed down a bit and uh, I will definitely send things off. Um, are you silver? You might be silver, yeah. So we've got some little silver stud earrings with a little sparkly, slightly blue stone in there. We'll keep them aside. Oh, that's cute. Just a nice little, just a nice little pretty brooch. You know? Yeah, we've got another little box. Accessories by Park Lane. Don't think these would have been in there, but they're just a nice pair of gold tone earrings in a nice box. And in here we've got one earring with a little heart crystal. Aww, it's all alone. Right, some twisted... Uh, yeah, alright. It says Tiffany & Co 925 on it, but do we believe it? I don't think so. Don't even believe it's 925, but let's give it a little shine, you never know. Uh, it's shining up okay. Right, it does say Tiffany & Co 925, but that looks like it's printed on rather than stamped in. But we'll keep that aside anyway. Is KR Rose Gold? No, it's, it's a brand name. It'll be initials for something, Josh. Um, um, but I can't think who right now. Um, you know, if something is like rose gold and it's actually gold it'll still just be gold so as in it'll be 375 which is nine carat gold so it should be stamped as such it'll just be a different color if that makes sense a monkey vintage earring we'll come back to that oh what are you oh you're adorable that's a lovely peacock brooch enamel brooch i like that you can stay <laughs> Um, more new with tag stuff, so I lot all of the new with tag stuff together. Okay, let's disembark some of these. We've got some East in here. East is obviously a brand, as you know, from clothing sellers that will sell. Um, I found a nice uh, Laura Ashley one before so Laura Ashley necklaces and stuff sell what on earth are you we've got a little tiny egg thing oh it's got like mood rings in and stuff and it says Charlotte on it there we go that'll go in a little kiddies lot a fabulous ring is the bottom of that box with nothing in it some more, um, I've had quite a lot of faux pearls, so I might just do a faux pearl lot. They've all got nice clasps on and stuff. Lots more big things. What? I'm not even getting them in now, am I? I'm missing aimlessly. Ooh, that's a fab vintage earring. Oh, very dirty. That's nice. Okay. So all of these will probably go in lots like these ones. Oh, we've got a little Tinkerbell. She wants to be silver, but she's not, I'm afraid. And she wants to be a real girl, or is that Pinocchio? Uh, we've got some French Jet, which is just black glass, basically. Ooh, hello. You look like gold. 
possibly. Possibly a tiny little gold butterfly stud earring there. So that'll go on my test pile. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that nice? That's a lovely pendant. Nice peachy orangey colour. Cute. Some stuff for crafting. I've got three kg so, so far. Super great crafting stuff. Which is cool. So if there are any people out there that like making things. Toronto 1995 pin. Um, oh, hi Laura. I'm not sure if I said hellos by the way. Just a, a big hello to everyone. Hello, hello. I've got a penny in here. That's quite exciting. A little bag of happiness. A marble, a penny and a rubber. That's um, a bizarre measure of happiness there, methinks. Ew, what are you? <gasps> I had, oh my God, I need Heather. I need Heather. There you are. Who is that designer that I asked about their, their earrings and they were square and it was GB, I think. But I've just got a bracelet from her, so that's cool. Hi, Jason. 80s designer, Italian sounding name. Oops. Got some more vintage clip-ons. A Seconda watch. Ooh, we've got a little pen knife here. That's quite smart. 1970s, mother of pearl insect. Sheffield stainless steel, Richards. That's quite nice. I like that. Um, a little, well, you know, charity pin things. Right, come on, let's get to little bits. Hmm, possibly gold? We'll put that aside, just a tiny little earring. Always check the little, little, littles. Because honestly, you'll be amazed at what ends up being gold and silver. That's a nice little mother of pearl ring there. Hi Leanne! Oh, that's cute, little handbag charm. Shame that there's stone missing in it, but that's quite sweet. Um, oh, that's a nice little vintage style bracelet. The Diamante Spanglages. Got some Marks and Spencer. I don't know if M&S do silver. I know next year, but I haven't seen Marks and Spencers do silver. Um... Some more watches. I've got a nice big lot of uh, watches now. Vintage clip ones. Oh, you're nice. What are you? That's. Oh, that's super cool. Shame it's broken. But that's a hot air balloon with like a little basket dangle underneath, and there's like a little man. Oh, that's cute. It's such a sh Shame it's broken. Oh, adorable. That's proper lovely crystal, that. That's really nice. You'll go with my treasures pile. <laughs> um, got some vintage cufflinks, probably 1960s or 70s. Um, M, G and S. Shut up, you're not saying... Okay, I think that must say gold plated. That's not going to. I can see CT on it. Okay. 12 carat? That definitely says something. Let's see the other one. Okay, I think that says 12 carat, whether it means that's 12 carat gold through and through. 12 carat is weird though, isn't it? But anyway, we'll give that a test. That's on the testing pile. 
potential. The 12 carat. 12 carat? Should be 14. That's an odd one. Uh, we've got a little. So we've got a little bit of mother of pearl in a pendant. I'm going to test that as well. Like this around. You never know. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh, are you promoting yourself? Yes, he is. Well, why not? You crack on, Josh. Some more religious artifacts there. A big, chunky watch. Who are you? Copperfield? That's a decent heavy watch, that. Yeah, exactly. That's it's a weird one, isn't it, Jason? So that's what makes me think, hmm, probably not. But then it's got a very old maker's mark on it. So you never can tell. You never can tell. Right, what have we got in here? Don't think there's anything particularly exciting in there, although that looks like silver. That's in a tangle. It is definitely silver. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, and I just bloody dropped it. Okay. Well, it's a silver necklace and it's got this little heart charm on it. Could be a custom piece, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got a UK maker's mark on it, but it hasn't got full uh, hallmarks. I think there might be a couple of silver necklaces in here. I'm going to leave that aside for Mother to detangle. She likes doing that. Oh, there's that fab earring again. That's the uh, Napier one. So I've got the mink for that in there. That's quite cute. Shame is quite tarnished, but I like a little bangle with a little heart on it. That's nice. And um, we've got, ooh, a selection of gold chains. Gold plated chains, 16 inches. That's very handy because I've got a lot of uh, pendants that need chains. So that's awesome. That means I can actually make them useful. Which is quite nice. And we've got a makeup brush and some kiddies rings. Lots of bangles. That's a nice earring. That's quite good fun. See that with a little sun on it? I like that. I hope that as a friend at some point. Right, I'm going to be done with this one so I can move on to the next one. Oh no, no notification. You should have just been waiting here in anticipation for me, damn it. Just kidding. Right. Next bag. Oh no, we've 25 minutes. Although I can always watch Charlie Brooker on Catch It, can't I? Sorry. Right. We'll do what we can. Right, what's this? Hang on, okay. Little box first. Little box, little box. Oh, you're adorable. It's a nice little handmade copper on silver screw backs. They're lovely. That's nice. I, li I like them. I like them. Bit brutalist, you know. Oh, we've got another jewellery thing that's wire wrapped uh, thing I've got the bracelet over there I think to match hair stuff now are you going to come out easily or are you going to be a bastard so we've got another one of these so I think that might be a spare now I might keep one actually we'll see Nice little box. That'll go into my turquoise lot though, but that's quite pretty. That's, yeah, that's all right. Um, da -da 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 -da. Broken chains. Ah, broken brooch is shame. It's missing a little petal. So that'll go into a vintage broken lot. Mm, got some rings in there. A random bit of paper. 
Oh, because it's got vintage earrings stuck to it. And a little Holland clog brooch. That's kind of fun. Right. That's just a massive tangle of stuff, but I want you to come out of there. Yes. So stainless steel and abalone bangle there. That's nice. Um, what about you? That's quite nice. I think you're just silver plated, yeah. But that's quite pretty. Shame it's broken, but it's Art Deco style. And that's quite nice. Um, oh, there's the other Mexican silver earring. See, there's the other one of those. So that's good. I like them. Um, some Georgia Asda stuff, that'll go with my new tags, as well that. Those little European charm bracelet thingies. Lots of nice beady bits. Some, oh, that'll go into one of my chunky bead lots. You look like silver. Are you silver? Oh, look at them, they're even heart shaped on there. That's nice. Um, right, potentially silver this one, I would say, because it's tarnishing like silver. So see how it's kind of slightly blackened? And that's on top of it rather than wearing off. Yeah, that's nice, I reckon that's silver and um, some little earrings Oof. right so we've got some little bits here 925 so even if they're 925 without mates um I'll just, they'll go in my scrap pile. I think that was the only bit there. So that'll go there. Oh, I've had this brooch before. Had this brooch before a couple of times, actually. Lovely crescent moon. Like 1960s, I think. 50s or 60s, but that's rather lovely. Um, do I have it on? Here we go. Just in case I miss any. Oh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Oh, Gryffindor. Boo. I'm a Slytherin, obviously. Lots of bangles. I might do a separate bangle lot. People that like them. Oh, you're nice. That's quite nice. Polished stone bracelet. I like that. Oh, a little um, nurse's watch, one of them. That'll go in my watch lot unless I find out that it's, you know, worth loads on its own. Oh, that's a nice bangle, nice wooden bangle, very Danish looking. Uh, can I see anything here? Potentially, but it's in a right tangle, so not just yet. Oh, got a little bat person in there. Ugh. Honestly, I've sorted out so much today. I sorted out a job lot for one person already, and then six one kilo bags of just necklaces. I like you. You're fun. You're broken. Shame. How cool is that? I'll fix that. That's so cool. <laughs> I do like that.
and I've got some plastic beads. So I've got a vintage plastic bead lot as well. That's a nice bangle. That's cool. Oh, it's a little teapot. It's a little teapot. Cute. Um, that looks like Claire's accessory stuff. Like the, you know, the kind of wedding-y sort of spring range, summer range. Um, where's that brooch gone? We've got a brooch that says mother and a little basket of flowers. I know I like a nice wooden bangle. Oh, that's cute. A pair of scissors with a little lady in a bikini. And a matching nail file. Not nail file, tweezers. They're fun. Keep them out. Always need nail bits, don't you? Nice bangle. Some nice chunky necklace. Ugh. Right, what's in here? Britain's first decimal coins. So what's this? 1972, 71 cents. So it's all the first coins. I've had them before. They don't sell for much. But uh, what else have we? Oh, hello, pretty. We've got a little bird, a little gem encrusted bird. It is missing some bit, but his wings come out and you can put little preciouses in there. Isn't that so cute? I like you. You can stay. And we've got a nice knife. With a mother of pearl inlay. That's lovely. That's nice. How much for the coins? Well, about 27 pence. <laughs> um, got a cute little spoon. Um, EMS. So, electro nickel silver plate shenanigans. Nice little vintage brooch. Missing some stones though. That's a shame. You know what? I might just tip this little bugger out, shall we? I need a tray. Yes, a bird with a secret. The babe with the power. What power? The power of the voodoo. Ooh, you're unusual. You're modern, you can tell that. So we've got a little, see there's like a close and a style dragon on there. And, yep, it's a little pocket watch. It's probably one of the ones from the front of a magazine that say collectible pocket watches. But that's so, I should imagine that might be plated. It's very pretty. I'll keep that aside because that's kind of cool. What else have we got in here? That's quite nice. Little vintage necklace with just like a single diamante in it. Janice spends a good yes. Hello. Uh, yep. Ooh, we've got a little atomic brooch covered in string and it's broken, which is a shame, but that's very 1950s. I like that. Some polished stone necklace. Oh, a tiny little baby ring. Is that a mark on there? I'm not sure. But that's super pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, I'm not gonna focus, but that's nice. You might go on my testing pile just in cases. <laughs> we have got a crystal oyster. That's fun, isn't it? Any letter, no, do you know what? I've never come across a letter opener, which I've got it because I really want one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a rather fab. 70s modernist Sphinx. With the faux banded agate. Agate. And uh, we've got a little cross dude. Dude on the cross. Hi, Nia. Um, another nice vintage sparkly brooch. And I've currently got one of these. 
this scarf clip. Right, your nice might be amber or just glass, but that'll probably go into a vintage broken lot, which is a shame, but lovely colour glass here. So Christmas earrings, that's a nice uh, cufflink. That's again very 70s. That's cool. A tiny little alarm clock. That's fun. Little butterfly brooch. Little wreath brooch. We've got some nice sparklers. Some nice polished stone with uh, wire work surround. Okay, what are you? You want to be gold. You do. You do want to be gold. You're the right colour for gold. Hmm. I might say something there. Not sure about that one. That will go on the testing pile. Possibly. Um, a little EPNS spoon. Tiny little mustard pot spoon. That's cute. We can go away. And then key rings and oh, your silver chain, vintage silver chain with little faux pills and crystals. And I can go in there. Woohoo! Right, it's quarter two already. I'm gonna miss Charlie Brooker. Okay. That's pretty. Um, a nice, like, big type statement one. Right, anything else of interest in here before I move on? I really still want to find that other silver now and that potentially gold and citrine um, earring that I've still only got one of. What are you? Huddersfield. Anybody's support will come from Huddersfield. Stay now or forever hold your peace. Right, now I can't see anything else. Huge, huge interest other than this. That's nice. Like a bit of Greek key. Brass bangle. Like that. And what's in here? First Holy Communion. Ah, oh, it's a little rosary. That's sweet. Might keep that out. And, oh. That's come from something, but that's a nice yellowish stone with a thing. Um, I'm not letting you know how much I paid for this one just yet. It's going to come out in a video. Because, you know, you can't always get what you want. I will tell you at some point, it's just not right now. Okay. I'm going to move on to... The next bag. Got some nice little uh, brooches from that one. That was good. Okay, this one is already split open. Oh, look at that. It's a nice pendant. I might do a little solo pendant slot as well. Tap Doctor is from Huddersfield. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> never actually been to Huddersfield, so I wouldn't know what it's like. An empty and now broken Elizabeth jukebox. <laughs> right, what's this? Okay, so we've got a little box there with space for hearts. And we've only got two hearts. It looks like a quartz and a faux turquoise. Cute little box though. Could take out the little in heart shaped inserts and just have that as a nice jewellery box. That's a lovely stripe bangle. That's super nice. I like that. That's mine. Bangles, bangles. That's pretty. 
That's a nice statement necklace. Very vintage look, but it's modern. Can't wrong with that. Ooh, some petrol black colour beads. Yeah, what are you? You're a napkin ring, aren't you? Wonder if you're silver. If you were silver, you'd be beastly. Because that's quite a weight. I don't think you are because I think that's rust rather than tarnish. But we'll keep you aside and check. Yes, I am talking to the jewellery. And that's not weird. That says Lucky Fanny, but for a second I thought it said Lucky Fanny. Which would be hilarious. Hi, Sue. I don't know what's wrong with your notifications. Daryl said the same, that he didn't get one. That's quite a nice, like, cross patch kind of woven bangle. That's nice. Oh, I like that. That's very artisan studio style. That's probably handmade. That's kind of awesome. I like that. And then she goes and puts it in the box of stuff that will go to other people. Some nice carved style beads on that one. A hairbrette. Right, let's pull out a load. Your vintage, you might be rolled gold. No, you're not, you're gold plated. Oh my word. Mum's gonna have fun with that. Wait a second, I think I know you. No, you're a fake, Shane. I thought that was a make called Dan on then, but it wasn't. It was a fake one, which is a shame, because Dan on ones go for a reasonable price. Lots of lovely, fab, chunky plastic things there. Potentially some vintage in that one. Oh, hello. Oh, why are you broken? That's a shame. That would have been quite a nice necklace, that. Oh, Never mind. That's cool. That's modern, but that's fab, isn't it? Probably, like, Marks and Spencers. Um, yes, well... It, um, I took all these bags out of the boxes. So the last two bags had five boxes all together. Sorry, the last two boxes had five bags all together in them. And these are those. So we've got two more bags after this one. Hello, are you Amber? No, you're not. Um, and then that'll be me done for the day. Oh, look at it. It would have been a lovely blooming... Oh, wait, is this the matching bracelet? This is the matching bracelet to go with the broken necklace, but the matching bracelet is okay. So that's that. I like that. Oh, and we've got a broken... Um, oh, no, it's not broken. That might be silver. Silver and bone. Like a um, bootstrap thingy, I think. Possibly. Boot hook thingy. And then one of these. These are bizarre. I actually don't know what they are. Oh, hello. Haven't seen you for a while. How was your business? Because you were, you left to do property development, wasn't it? Yeah, there's the rest of that broken necklace. That's a shame. What's this? It's got a D on the front of it. Oh, come on. You do want to open. Oh. Oh, a Japanese compass. Which doesn't work. But that's kind of cool. Compass Japan. Yes, weird dental tools. Yeah. It does look weird. Mother, yes. what are these? Oh, can you put that, the big light on? 
big lights. And yeah. What are they? Um carving. A carving. For for um uh, ceramics. You make what was on telly the other night. He uses these. You make patterns in your ceramics in the slip. Oh, like for, so for potters. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Mm. Oh, that's very cool. See, mummy is so useful. You are useful, mummy. Um, an all-round invest now, own property, precious metal, stocks, crypto, blooming it. Um, I'm excellent. I probably don't own as much precious metals as you right now, but, you know, I'm getting there. <laughs> I've got a little box. Nothing in it, but that's a nice Stratton box. Probably had the tie pin in it. I'll keep that one because get Stratton tie pins a lot and it'd be nice to have a little box for one. A scrunchie. Um, yes. Um, I'm buying silver currently, heavy stuff. Well, actual big blocks of silver. I've got um, a couple of hundred grams of silver, I think. That's a lovely big bit of shell there. It's only from Virgin Jewelry, but there's a little dude in a cap. That's cute. A little dude. Um, I was hoping you were Atwood and Sawyer, but no. Again, check your littles, people. Check your littles. Because that's where the secret money is. Be silver. I'll keep you aside. Potentially Do you a little silver your, um, moon. Pudding. Not right now, no. I love it um, when I watch Charlie Brooker. I'm not going to stop now. I can't stop now. I'm nearly there. Little silver earring. Charlie Brooker's on now. I know, but I'll I'll watch it. I'll catch up. up. Yeah. There's no way I can stop now. Can I? I can't just go and leave you like for half an hour, although I am desperately in love with Charlie Brooker. Desperately. A little apple. And a little watch face. What does that say? Achievement! Um, paper gram. Wow. As in you buy it off people? I'm not selling you my silver and gold. That's my um, that's my rainy day fund. <laughs> okay, we'll go on to the next bag. Two bags to go, folks. Yeah, you can't have mine. <laughs> Holy cow! Look at that necklace. Yowza. That's bonkers. That's going to be in someone's key little bag. Yeah, it does sound like you've been busy here, eh? Okay. Lots of chunkies and sparklies. More chunkies and sparklies. And turquoises and chunkies and sparklies. Okay, so if you want chunkies and sparklies and statement and Aztec. Oh, that's nice. 1950s Lucite. I like that. Wooden bangles. Ugh. Stop it. I caught that with my thighs then. The bonus of having chunky thighs. Um, not Swarovski.
try it. I think I can quite safely, other than maybe you, that you look like silver. But you're in a bitch of a tangle. But you are definitely silver, I can tell. How do I get you out? Take that earring out. Ugh. Prue Leaf, yeah. She's fab. I like her. Right. You are bitch tangled. I'm going to come back to you. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Oh, I can hear Newswife. Where did that coral necklace just go? That's Charlie. I can hear Charlie. About the thing that's happening. Uh, that's a coral necklace, vintage coral necklace, 1960s. Oh, all of these fell on the floor. So much. So much. Oh, you're pretty. Ugh. Some nice turquoise bits. There's the other vintage cuff link, which I will have to find and come back to. I am proper sweaty right now, by the way, which you all totally need to know. I don't think there's going to be anything truly exciting in this bag. No. Oh, that's a massive crazy pendant thing though yeah. and there's no littles in this one no no and then this is the last bag folks are you silver I don't think so. We lost back. We've done really well. Um, I won't kill you, Karen. I would just say why not? Because Charlie Booker is a genius. And I love him. Little box. Well, we're going to little box. Phil necklace. You can stay in it. That's fine by me. Oh, we've got some littles in there, and you look like a tasty thing, maybe. Oh, come on, open your bugger. There's a ring in there that I like the look of. You have to be silver, you're very nice. Look at that, that's a lovely ring. I'm betting that's silver. Charlie Brooks. I don't know who Charlie Brooks is. Uh, what have we got here? Fashion jewellery. New York, Paris, Milan. <laughs> I'm sure. Just like the Trotters Independent Traders. That's quite a nice chunky necklace. Some shades. The collection of Debenhams. Hypoallergenic earrings, a little Betty Boop necklace, um, Noli Safari Park, or Nosley, Nosley Safari Park. Cute little charm bracelet with like suns and moons and a little watch on it that's probably 
tiny thing. Oh, a 70s modernist ring. <coughs> Drama Queen brooch, I'll keep that one. Some abalone. Oh my god, that box is full. Right, we've got a box with a. It's got a little uh, bookmark thing in it. A little pane of glass. Um. Oh, that's a nice spotty bangle. There's a little horse necklace in there. Oh, yeah, that's a cool bangle, that. I like that one. That's quite nice. Probably stainless steel. But that's pretty. Quite like that with a little blue. Blue topaz style stone. Some body jewels, some light up Christmas things. Another wooden bangle. Sparkly bits and then that looks like delft but it's plastic so it's not. Cute little brooch. Wooden beads. A watch. Oh, that's a nice little necklace. It's got like leaves on it. I can't untangle it right now though. More of them. A little compact that looks like a nun. Mm. Right, in the pictures then. I saw a box, but that box isn't in here. So I wonder what happened to that, whether the auction house changed their mind. Aww! Another little cute kitty brooch. There's two little kitties hugging and a kissing. Hmm. Does that say 925 or is that just. No, Bow mom. Ugh. Right. More big tangledge messes. That's quite cool. I can hear you. It's got all horses' heads on it. Like the Godfather. Like that. It's broken, which is a shame. But it's all horses in a row which I've just broken even more that's good fun did you check out the armband things? yes I did and yep um, one sold recently for 30 quid on ebay so happy and then the Kenzo uh, earrings I should hopefully get about 60 or 70 for so very happy with that that's a mad old mask Tangle of stuff. I'll be for another day. Oh. Ah. Okay. What's this? I think this is the box that I saw in the photograph. I hope there's something in it. Ah, uh, shame. It's just some tat in it. Never mind. It says Blue John Specialist on there, and I was like, ooh, Blue John, that would be nice. Well, that's a little tie pin. That's all right. Um, yeah, nothing special. Um, I know, right, she's got all of that to do tomorrow, and she won't get paid unless she does it. <laughs> Just kidding, she does it for free. Um, ooh, I like that. Nice full turquoise belt buckle. That's cool. Another watch. The 
yeah, there is a heck of a lot to go through tomorrow. A heck of a lot. That's a nice earring. So you're in a right bitch of a tangle there. Yeah, all this is like a horrible tangle right now. Cool vintage earring. Have a proper look. That's a mad bastard mess. Hey Sam. Oh, that's a belt. That's quite cool though, isn't it? Like that. I might put that in one of the holiday lots. That's quite that's cool. <laughs> a little light up kitty cat. That's fun. Oh, is it? That's the kiwi, isn't it? Kiwi bird. That's cute. Um, oh, what did what was Thor saying? I can't see Thor. What is he saying? Um, a little Australia keyring. Y H A. Don't know. Um, just some pins. Oh, that's a nice. That's an earring. I thought that was a brooch then, but that's just a huge earring. Crazy. Lots of little watch faces. Got another plastic uh, belt buckle. And some sparkly. I don't think we're going to find much else now, guys. I think we have found our limit on silver and gold and stuff. But, oh, but that's quite all right. I think we have done well. I'll let you know in a video coming out. Oh, that's pretty. That might be silver. German, English, yeah, that's German. It's got like little Edelweiss on it. And then we got a little kitty cat, a little white kitty cat. Yeah, so before it gets too dark in here and I can't really see, because I can't really see right now, to be honest. Um, oh, little cricketer. You're Stratton, aren't you? Yeah, Stratton, and look what we do there, perfect, there we go, cactus yarn, yeah, I think that's silver. Anyways, right, I'll be back at some point with um, all of the bits there that, ah, um, that I think are maybe silver and gold. Oh God, my hands feel gross. And I will show you if I was right or wrong. Um, my hands feel absolutely disgusting. So yeah, I'm going to be off now. Have a cigarette and I'm going to watch Charlie Booker on catch up. Um, if anybody does want, like, whatever, message me on Facebook and let me know. Lex, L E double X, Oliver. Um, yay. So, I shall see you again soon. I'm absolutely fudged, by the way. Um, right. Night night, everyone. Bye bye now. Bye bye.